Welcome to Huntington Beach, a city known at large as Surf City, USA. It also happens to be one of the cities embroiled in a countywide dispute about the homeless. The issue began in January when Orange County officials began to clear out homeless camps in places like the Santa Ana River Trail, which hosted one of the largest encampments in the county, and at its height was home to nearly 700 displaced peoples. Operations to remove the camp were halted when U.S. federal judge David O. Carter ruled that local governments could not continue to enforce the anti-camping ordinances without establishing temporary shelters to house the homeless that were being uprooted. Carolina Cortez struggled with addiction and found herself in a sober living home without any money and without her family. I think some people misunderstand that it's very hard, especially growing up in Orange County or anywhere out here, how expensive life is and how hard it is to get back on your feet, especially if you've had something like me where you were struggling with addiction. People just don't get that it's hard and we need um, resources and stuff like this to help us. If you heed the words of Supervisor Bartlett, where she said, I'm sorry. In March, the Orange County Board of Supervisors approved a plan to establish temporary shelters on county-owned land in Irvine, Huntington Beach, and Laguna Niguel. The board later rescinded the vote in response to public outrage. The court order has since been lifted, but the county is at a loss for offering a permanent solution to deal with the county's homeless crisis in part due to its citizens. Cities that have housed the majority of the county's homeless population have pushed back against the no vote, citing their city's histories in sheltering the nearly 5,000 displaced people recorded in the Orange County homeless census taken last year. With neither old shelters and new refuges available to them, the homeless find themselves at the center of a long-running conversation that recognizes the need for homeless shelters, but cities seldom wanting to take on the population themselves. In 2016, an assessment of homeless services in Orange County revealed that while there are resources available to the homeless, there are still barriers that exist due to the lack of regional and local coordination. Think back. We had four people who just died in Garden Grove, people, in a van. They was going ahead. We had two children. In February 2017, PPIC ran a report called Geography of Child Poverty in California, which essentially stated that one quarter of kids in California live in poverty. Most low-income families with children have at least one working adult, but housing costs are a big factor that uproots families. For Kiera Rankins, she moved out to California from Iowa on her own. It's not usually um, a choice or like something that we did wrong. Carolina and Kiera credit their recovery to Stand Up for Kids, an organization in Orange County that offers aid to homeless youth by way of housing, interview skills, resume building, and mentoring. It aids youth up to the age of 24 and works with them to create a unique plan to help them become self-sufficient and eventually get themselves off the street. Stand Up for Kids mentor Albert Martinez expressed disappointment at the negative response of Orange County citizens to the possibility of building homeless shelters in higher income cities. A lot of people have this misconception or their, their perceived ideas of what homelessness is and I don't know if it's they think that it's just this person that's pushing the card and they're talking to themselves and yeah that, that's that's definitely what we see uh, but there's more there you know a lot of these youth you, you don't even know that they're homeless you know um, a lot of them it's just a lot of them become homeless due to just a situation you know uh, a lot of our youth are not chronic homeless, meaning they're not, they're not on the street, then off the street, on the street, off the street. Uh, it's just sometimes they had a bad run and they're on the street and they just need help. Citizens raise concern about anything from child endangerment to public nuisance. To add insult to injury, the Orange County branch of Stand Up For Kids is also based in Huntington Beach, which was one of the proposed cities. Pushback has stalled legislation and the vouchers previously granting temporary shelter at motels to the homeless expired. There has been no move by the Orange County Board of Supervisors to push for another vote, and with no solution on the horizon, it means there will soon be hundreds of people with no place to go but out.